In this short video, I'm going to get Sphinx running in a Docker container. It will index some data from a MySQL database running also in a Docker container. It's pretty simple. I'm using uh, Tutum's Docker package, I guess, for MySQL, and I put together my own for Sphinx, which you can find on GitHub right here. So you'll go download the zip or you'll clone it somehow and you can then build it so it's cd into the appropriate directory then build it. My command might be a little different than yours because it's with Ubuntu 14.04 which has just docker io instead of docker. You'll see it ran through all the steps, created some directories and brought in some .sh files and then exposed port 9306 so then we can run this we can do the dash p to get 9306 connected to our local 9311 and for persistent index data we can share the, vo the directories on our host machine so that Sphinx creates index files on our host machine instead of in the container we'll also be doing that with the directory for the Sphinx configuration file so that we can configure Sphinx from the host machine. You see here the dash V that the first one is for the configuration and the second one is for persistent index data. And then we're going to demonize the Sphinx and then run index and search which will index the data that we have already existing in this MySQL container. So it says it works, there it exists, there's our MySQL container and there's Nginx and PHP container. Just double check, we'll open up the command line interface for our Sphinx instance on 9311. There it is. You can see it's Sphinx by the server version number. We'll just select all from test, which is our test index built off of the test table in MySQL, which we can look at right now on port 3311. If you follow the instructions on Tutum's GitHub account, you can see how to set a password as an environment variable and then you can just open up like I just did there and select all from test is the same as this great everything worked let's go and just to be sure that we actually have our index files on disk we can look at the directory here where you can see the test.spd, sph, spk those are all the different sphinx index files so that's it short and simple hope you enjoyed if you have any questions please ask thanks for watching bye bye